What's going on guys? I hope you're doing fantastic. So today I'm gonna to be talking about Final Cut Pro Camera App 1.1 update. It just happened a few days ago and I'm gonna just break down all the things that has been changed, it has been updated, and tell you how you can actually use it in full potential. So let's dive in. First thing I'm gonna show you, if you are shooting and using log, and what log is is simply it shoots in this kind of like gray profile that allows you to get as much information from the highlights, from like stuff like this, and the shadows somewhere like right here. And I'm right now shooting an S log, but it's just for Sony's. iPhones have an absolutely fantastic update from iPhone 15 Pro that it can shoot log, Apple ProRes log, which is absolutely nuts. It is a resource intensive feature for your phone. Not everybody's gonna be using it, but if you are gonna be using it, you definitely will have a fantastic, beautiful result for the video quality. Now to shoot in the higher frame rates with log, you definitely want to have external SSD connected. I have this really cool, unique external SSD from Lexar. It's just, it's just flush to the phone and actually works as like a kind of like a handle really for for my phone when i'm shooting i absolutely love it if you're wanting that kind of thing i'm going to be doing some more testing and uh, so far it's been fantastic i'm going to link it down below if you're interested this affiliate link so you can choose on the bottom if you want to shoot on your device which as you can see on top left corner of the screen you only have 28 minutes in prores log and when you choose the Lexar, which is a two terabyte, I can shoot for up to five hours and eight minutes in log. And keep in mind, it's huge files. And that is ProRes log. Now, if you're shooting in log and you don't want to buy these SSDs, external SSDs, and you just want to shoot on your phone and you don't have enough space, now what you can do is you can just click on the ProRes. Now you can shoot in log, but with an H.265 format, which is takes so much less. And as you can see, I switched to H.265 and I have 99 plus hours of log recording onto SSD. But I have a little bit less than half of terabyte on my phone. So if I switch to my phone, I have 15 hours to shoot on my phone without the SSD. And if I'm switching back to Apple ProRes, which is again, much higher quality, yeah, I'm gonna be able to shoot only 13 minutes. And you can also shoot up to 120 frames per second. That is huge, 4K log. Now if I switch it to Apple ProRes, it tells me that it's not supporting because I do not have obviously space and I need to switch to when I'm switching to Lexar. You can see now I can shoot ProRes log 120 frames per second, 4K, one hour and 17 minutes for two terabytes. Right now, you probably don't see the log as it should be shown because I already have played with this. Uh, cool feature, new feature, new update. Now, if you go to this gear icon, you can go to color dynamics and range log. And as you can see, if I'm switching this, you can see how it changes from like that gray, gray log. It all it does is just kind of creates this high contrast. So you can actually see somewhat decent of what exactly the end result is gonna be when you're actually gonna be color grading and applying LUT, which is the lookup table. So when I turn it on, now you can see how that footage is gonna look like. So another really neat feature that I think it should have been there from the start, and that is your tools, which is you're gonna go to the gear window, you're gonna go to tools, and you can see the level. So when you turn on the level, this is what it allows you to do. If you're, let's say, if you're trying to shoot horizontally something, right, and you want to level it up, you just make sure the dot is all yellow, the, the side lines are yellow, not crooked, and you know that it's all leveled and straight if you're filming something, right? So same thing, if you're shooting from the top down shot, you'll be able to see if you're perfectly lined up 
from the top down shot without any issues. So it's just simple, but it's so useful, especially if you're filming something that is going to be shown on the big screen or shown in the commercial, and you definitely want to make sure you do it right. Of course, uh, compared to Blackmagic camera app, it's been there. So Apple in its own manner, slowly nonchalantly bring all the cool, or I guess mediocre tools and features into our lives and making this huge deal about it. If you have multiple different iPhones, devices, you can borrow your friend's iPhones and create a multi-camera setups by just using this feature of uh, connect live multi-camera applications. And if like, for example, I have my iPad, I can just set up my iPad as let's say a main camera, then have two other smartphones, iPhones, obviously it has to be iPhones, uh, with that Final Cut Pro camera app on the sides and you have already a great setup for a podcast. And with this device, and again, I'm not selling you on this device. I already made a video about this. I tried it for quite a bit now and I'm very, very impressed with this SSD. Uh, you can charge your phone through this hub. You have the actual SSD on the bottom. You have a power delivery here. On the side, there's another USB-C, so you can plug in a microphone. So if you really have four people on set, podcast style event, they're talking to one another, conference or whatnot, you can set up three iPhones or maybe iPad and two iPhones, shoot them. Right side, you can put iPhones. They're gonna be shooting the people that are sitting, two people that are sitting on one side and connect one of the DJI mic twos into this phone and two left and right channels you can clip and mic those talents but also the other phone will have again DJI or any other mics in that matter that shoots two channels and have like you know those lavs that you can tie it into other third and fourth person you can shoot the whole like set up a whole production obviously plug it in so the phones won't die if it's a lengthy you know podcast and have let's say ipad or third iphone shooting just a wide shot of everybody on stage or on the set it is super cool it is super awesome you can live stream it with that uh, multi-cam app i'm very very impressed by what iphone users can do nowadays versus let's say somebody who has like a huge production truck Okay, I'm done rambling. I hope that was helpful. I hope you liked this video and got something out of this and got some ideas for your future projects. If you like the video, please like it. Uh, don't like it twice if you don't like it. And if you can subscribe, it is free. It doesn't cost you anything. If you want to see these kind of geeky videos about cameras, about softwares, applications, anything that I will, I will share anything that I personally use. And, I found super interesting. Okay, I'm done. Thank you so much. Have a great day and be awesome, my friend. See ya.